Hello everyone. I'm teaching operations research and optimization courses at universities for a long time. And for uh, in the, all of these courses, I want the students to be involved in developing the mathematical models and implementing them in a solver. For this purpose, I'm using IBM iLook CPLEX uh, Optimization Studio. Uh, but uh, most of the students are not familiar with this software. And in order to make these students who are basically at the very beginning level, I wanted to take a series of video tutorials. So this one is the first of the series in which I'm going to introduce the working environment in the optimization studio. So let's get started. After installing the software, when uh, you open it, the first screen that you will have will be this welcome screen. So in this welcome screen, you will see the overview of the CPLEX Studio. You can find some tutorials, you can find some samples, and you can see what's new. So, but basically, this is the welcome screen, uh, and we will close this screen to reach the working environment. If you want to see the welcome screen at any time, you can click Help in the me uh, Help menu button, and you can click this Welcome to see the same screen again. Okay, when we close the welcome screen, we see the our working environment and which consists of several tabs okay. so the main working tab uh, will be this part here where we, where we will write our model or uh, where we will uh, input our data on the left hand side there is the projects tab where you can see your projects that I'm going to talk about. Okay, Here at the bottom there are a number of uh, tabs so uh, although this is uh, the English version of the program I don't know why some of the tabs may have local names so here you see this is a Turkish name but it should be the problems. Uh, then the scripting log, solutions, conflicts, relaxations, engine log, and etc. We have a number of tabs. So as the time comes, we will see what we use each of these tabs for. And uh, on the lower left corner, we have the problem browser. So when we implement our model, and when we solve the model, we will see our solution and the parameters that we input into the model on this left hand side. Okay, so basically this is the work environment. Now, uh, in OPL we work with projects. So inside the project you may have a number of different models or a number of uh, different data files that you will use with the same model. Okay, so basically these model and data files are uh, separated and they are entered as a mod file or as a dot file. Okay, so let's first construct a project and then inside each project we will uh, construct some model and data files. Okay, so in order to uh, have your first project, click the File menu button, and you see there is this New button, and at the top of this, we have the OPL project. When you click on it, a new window opens. So in this window, you are going to give the name of the project, you can select the location of the project where the files will be saved okay so for this one I'm going to write tutorial as the name of the project and you see the file will be saved in this folder so if you like you can select a different folder for example let's select D 
and now it will be just under the D uh, drive okay and the project files will be saved under D within the folder tutorial okay here at the bottom if you like you can enter a description but you don't need to and also you don't need to change anything here and you can just click finish and your project will be created or at each project we are going to talk about uh, them uh, a little bit later you will need a model file and the data file so if you like you can create them later on or if you like you can create the model and data files by just clicking here and when you finish it a new model and data file will be created for you so let me just click only for the model file here and then the, I will create the data file later on to show you how to do it and when you click finish you will see here on the left hand side a project is created with the name tutorial under this project you see there is this run configurations it is empty now and we are going to uh, create some run configurations later on I will talk about it and you see this tutorial.mod the model file is created for which I have uh, selected while creating the project and the model file is opened on the editor if you like you can close it and reopen it by clicking on the tutorial so this part here when something is written green it means that it's commented out it's not read by the software and if you want to comment out something it's like the C programming language so if you write anything inside these characters then they will be commented or if you just want to comment out a single line then you can use just these uh, two uh, slashes so that the, uh, the line will be commented out okay so this is the model file and as I said we are going to implement our mathematical model we are going to write our mathematical model to this model file I'm going to talk about it in uh, the next uh, video but uh, in order to enter the data of the problem we are going to have a different file which is the dot file so let's see how to create a dot file later on the easiest method for me is to right click on this project and come on to this new and data when you click on it it will ask for the name of the data file so I'm going to write tutorial data so this is the name that I give any name you can give okay and as you see that this data file is opened uh, created and it's also opened in the editor and here again you can if you like close it or open it in the editor so whenever you make some changes you see there appears a star here it means that the file is not saved so when you click on save button that star disappears okay so we have this model and data files and if uh, in this under the same project you may have many model and data files at the same time so if you like you can create another new model file Okay, let's give the name uh, tutorial 2 to this one and you see now I have this first model and I have this second model and I have a single data file here so besides this in order to run a model we will need a run configuration so uh, in fact a run configuration is this under the same project you have you may have different model files you may have different data files and you may want to solve one model file with one data file in order to combine this in order the cplex to understand which model file will be solved with which data file we will create a run configuration and creating a run configuration is also easy 
uh, as we do in the model and data files right click anywhere on this project and click on new and select run configuration again it will ask uh, for a name we can give for example run one to this and uh, when we click on it you see on the left hand side under the run configurations now we have run one but this run one is currently empty so we need to include a model and the data file inside this so that uh, cplex can understand it and doing this is also easy just drag and drop the model and data files that you want to solve together on to this run configuration so for this run one i let's say i want to solve this tutorial.mod so i'm dragging it on run one and it asks are you sure select ok and you see now tutorial.mod uh, file appears under this run configuration and also uh, I want to use this data file with this run configuration similarly drag and drop it on run 1 and now this model file and this data file are under the same run configuration and if I want to solve it the cplex will understand which model will be solved which data of course you may have different run configurations under the same project so let's do it again let's create a new run configuration and I will call it run2 okay. and now you see under the run configuration I have run1 and run2 under run1 I have tutorial mod and tutorial data dot run2 is currently empty so let's assume that I want to solve the tutorial 2.mod in this run2 configuration so I'm dragging and dropping the file on it and I will use the same data file with this second model under run2 so I'm dragging and dropping you see now run1 is a model where uh, the first model is solved with the data and run2 is a run configuration in which the second model is solved with the same data you see the tutorial data that that file appears under run1 run2 and here as well but they are all the same they are all the same copies of the file so in this editor it's open if you have if you make a change here in the data file it will affect all of them they are not separate files okay. so you see now under the same project I have two model files one data file and two run configurations and under the, uh, and if you like you may have different projects let's assume that this is your course project for one of the courses and you want to have a second project for another course so you can just create a new project so from the file menu select new and OPL project and give a name to this project let's say that this is course 2 okay again the drive is D and now I am going to include a run configuration a model file and the data file to this you see there's another option here a settings file okay so I'm going to talk about it in a few minutes when we click on finish now you see I have two projects the first one is the tutorial the second one is the course 2 and under this course 2 you see I have the model file the data file a run configuration is already created because I selected it and the model and the data files are moved under this run configuration they are all ready so the thing is I will just enter uh, the model into the model file and the data to here and I can solve it okay so cplex uh, offers a wide range of uh, settings that you can play with to solve uh, the models uh, sometimes for example the models uh, you can uh, 
play with the parameters of the solution procedures for example you can select the solution algorithm for the linear programs you can select the parameters of the branch and bound algorithm you can select what type of cuts to be added uh, while solving a mixed integer programming formulation or you can uh, select the time limit if the solution time is too much and you want to get a feasible solution earlier uh, than instead of the optimal solution then you can put a time limit on the model and in order to do all of these you can include a settings file and basically including a setting file is the same as including a model file and a data file just click anywhere on the uh, project that you want to add this settings file select news new and select settings again you need to give a name to this so I'm going to just write setting one okay so you see this setting one uh, appeared here created here and this setting file has an extension of OPS is different than the model and data files because it is not empty but in fact it includes a number of menus so that you are going to select uh, or you will uh, you can select from these parameters so on the left hand side you can see the parameters uh, of whether it is the uh, you're going to play with the parameters of the mathematical programming or constraint programming or language so basically in cplex opl there are two types of models that you can implement mathematical models which include linear or integer programming formulations or constraint programming so i'm not going to talk about constraint programming models but you can implement them here as well okay so uh, let me show you how to include a time limit select math mathematical programming okay and select general you see here there is a option called global time limit so this time limit is in terms of seconds it means that if you want to enter one hour time limit so you need to write uh, 3600 in seconds okay so when you save this now you see it is uh, this option is written in bold which means that it is changed now you can identify which one of the parameters is changed easily in this way and if you want to return back to the default value on the right hand side of this option there is this reset uh, button if you click on it it will return back to the default so let's have this time limit let's save this file but I have created a settings file I have changed one of the parameters but the thing is uh, I have I already have two uh, run configurations run one and run two if you don't include this setting files uh, under the run configurations it means that they are ineffective in order them to take uh, in order in order them to affect your run configurations similarly you need to drag and drop these files under the run configurations so let's assume that i want to solve the first run configuration with a time limit of one hour i'm going to drag and drop the setting files file under run one and you see now under run one i have the model file the data file and the setting files it means that it instructs to cplex to solve model tutorial.mod with tutorial data dot that file and use this setting file okay but under run 2 since the setting file is not here it's not solved with the time limit if you want to include if you want to have a time limit on that as well you need to copy this under that run configuration as well if you want if you don't want to have the setting files here basically select the file and delete the file from that run configuration you see when i delete it it's only deleted from this run configuration it's not deleted from the project 
Okay, now I have these two projects. Sometimes uh, it, when you are creating a new project, you do not select the location of the project, but you use the default uh, folder. Okay? And then you forget where was the project files. For example, if you want to send your project to your instructor, uh, you need to send your model file, data file, the settings files, and etc. to your uh, instructor, then you need to know where in your hard drive these uh, projects are saved. And finding that is also easy, just click on the project, right click on the project, select properties, and you see here the location under the location you see it's the tutorial in some versions of cplex you can see this button here and if you just click on it you will have the project file opened in explorer and you can see all the files under the folder but in some of the cplex versions you can you, this uh, button does not appear in that case, you can just uh, simply select this and open an explorer and paste it and open the folder. Okay. So this is uh, how we can find uh, the project folder. When you finish with your project and when you close this uh, software, IBM Studio, and after some time you want to work on another project or you want to work on the same project, so when you open CPLEX, the files or the projects will appear on this project browser on the left hand side. If you are done with the project and if you don't want to see that project here, what you can do is, first, you can close the file, okay? So currently this is open. If you right click on it and click close project, you see now it's closed, but it still appears here. If you want to uh, work on it again at a later time, you first need to open the project and then you can reach the files and work on it. If you don't want this file to appear on this left hand side here, you can just right click on it and click delete and a new window appears. Here you, you have two options. Do you want to delete this project only from this object browser? Then you don't need to do anything, just click OK the files will be in your saved in your hard drive they will not be deleted but they will the project will not appear in cplex opl anymore but if you also want to delete these files from your hard drive as well then select this option and then click ok in that case you will delete everything related with this project okay let me just delete this course too from here you see it disappears okay uh, at any time if you want to work on that project again it is in your hard drive but you want to uh, but it's not in your uh, working environment so you want to work on that project or let's assume that your instructor or one of your friends sent a project to you and you want to work on that project how you can open it basically you can open an already existing project by clicking on the file menu and from here click on import when you click on import there are a number of choices so from here we are going to select this existing OPL projects now you need to select the root directory uh, of the project where is it saved in your uh, computer. So my project was under D and it was course 2. Just select the folder. Ok. 
okay you don't need to go inside select the folder and click OK and whenever CPLEX identifies an OPL project inside it you can see it here and when you click on finish you will have exactly the same project that you already created or that your uh, friend sent to you you will see all the model files all the data files all the run configurations exactly in the same way okay so sometimes uh, I ask the students to prepare such projects uh, as an assignment or as a term project and I ask them to send those files to me uh, but if they send the model and the data files separately to me it's very difficult for me to check because I need to create a new project I need to copy and paste these model and data files inside my uh, project and then I will be able to uh, try it in my own computer but in fact if they send it in a suitable way then I will uh, I can just import them into my uh, working environment and it will be easier and how do you send your files to your instructor or to your friends so that they can open uh, those files easily basically what we will do is we will go to the project folder as I said if you want to learn where your project is saved right click on the project name click on properties and you will see the path to this project here you can just click on this button to have that project folder and when you look at inside the folder you have the model file that you already created the model two model files the data file and the setting files and besides these you see there are two other files the OPL project and project files these in fact instruct the uh, CPLEX OPL how these run configurations model files data files are arranged inside the uh, project so without these two files if you just send the rest then uh, the receiver of the project will not identify how many run configurations do you have and what you do you have inside those run configurations okay in order to send all of these files to your friend the easiest method is to go to the project okay and to zip this file and send the folder uh, as a whole so I'm going to zip the file and uh, the folder and then if I just send all this zipped folder then uh, your friend or your instructor will extract the contents and will be able to import those files as I just showed you here by coming to here from file import existing OPL projects they will be able to import if you just send the model and data files without those two uh, configuration files then you will not be able to import these into your working environment in this way but you need to create a new project by yourself and copy and paste those mod and data files to here okay so and uh, the last thing that I want to talk about uh, in this first introduction tutorial is the examples uh, CPLEX OPL includes a number of uh, examples inside itself so that you can check for those how uh, some kind of uh, mathematical models are implemented and you can uh, use those in your projects and etc or to learn in order to open these examples go to the file menu and from here new you can select this example okay so here a new window opens click on IBM iLog examples and click on next you see these examples are for uh, both the mathematical models and constraint programming models so the thing is 
uh, we uh, I'm going to talk about only the mathematical models so be aware that if you open a constraint programming model and if you are not uh, familiar with constraint programming you will see some non-standard notations or some, some non-standard or logical constraints which you cannot use in mathematical programs okay so be aware to open a correct example the examples are sorted with respect to complexity whether they are advanced basic or intermediate or by feature okay so what kind of uh, feature is used sorted by uh, industry or sorted by technique so you, so you see when uh, we look at the sorted by technique you see constraint programming constraint programming scheduling decomposition integer programming linear programming and etc so let's select linear programming under this you see there are a number of examples let's select uh, for example under this linear programming uh, let's select this cut stock example and when you click finish this project is opened on the left hand side with the name cut stock and under that you see there are a number of model files and some data files and some run configurations okay? and you can check each one of these model files and data files to see what's inside and also you can look for cplex tutorials to see the implemented models uh, the mathematical formulations of these implemented models there are a number of examples uh, that you can look at it but the thing is uh, in some cases if you open an advanced model uh, or even for the basic models you may see some uh, features of uh, cplex you don't know yet for example here uh, as a beginner you don't know any one of these but still there's a script uh, written at the bottom if you already know how to implement a mathematical model but if you are unaware of the scripting then this will be uh, this may be confusing for you okay so this is how we open uh, a, the existing examples so I'm going to delete this from my project okay and I don't want to delete it from my hard drive I just click OK and you see it's closed so this is the first lecture uh, first tutorial on CPLEX OPL where I tried to introduce you the working environment mm, please go ahead while listening to these videos open your computer as well and try to do the tasks by yourself okay whenever you need stop the video do it and then continue with the video so that they will be uh, more beneficial for you uh, in the next tutorial we are going to start with implementing some basic very basic models we will create the model files and the data files okay so uh, see you in the next lecture